Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. This video, we're gonna continue our discussion on working with the DOM. This video should be pretty simple, but it's still important, but not nearly as important as our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. All right, so what are we gonna be doing in this video? Well, we're going to be using get elements by tag name and get elements by class name. So in the previous video, we learned how to work with nodes by grabbing child nodes. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm gonna get rid of these console logs and we'll start fresh. So right now we are grabbing a list by basically starting at the root and going through the tree. Although that works, it's not exactly the most um, sophisticated methods of grabbing stuff. So let's get rid of that junk. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all elements by a particular tag name. So to do that, you say document dot get element by tag name. And what does it mean by tag name? Well, uh, you can look in here if you want some overwhelming guides, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put li. So this is an example of a tag option, list item, that'll grab all of the list items. Now we do have the option of grabbing all the ordered lists and then we would have those collections, but since we only have one ordered list, I think it's fine just to grab the list items directly. So if you wanted to work with all list items, here's how you would do that. So just to see this, we can do a console log and we'll just put list. Refresh this bad boy, and you can see we get this HTML collection. We have the first list item, which has the class border, the next list item, which is plain, and then we have the next list item, which has the ID special and class border. So those just kind of describe what the HTML structure is. And looking at our HTML, that is in fact correct. See, class border, class border, ID equals special. So that's our structure. So the object returned from this is of type HTML collection. If you want to know more juicy details about this, I'd encourage you to look up some content about it. Basically, as you get more familiar with DOM manipulation, you can start adding elements to this and you can start removing elements, modifying it. But basically, all I wanted to cover right now was just get it by tag name and also to get by class name. So we'll also replace this by class, do a refresh, and also we should update the class. We'll put border since we have two items with that class. And now we have two elements. So there's a lot of different flexibility and going back to just the uh, get, you can see all these different options. So thank you guys for watching this video. What we're gonna be doing in the next video is talking about node types and node names. So that'd be a lot of fun. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next uh, video. I forgot what it was called for some reason.